Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can use ReSharper to run and debug your unit tests from within Visual Studio. Right out of the box, ReSharper has support for both the MS test and NUnit testing frameworks. I have two test fixtures set up already in my solution, one for NUnit and one for MS test. Now before I run these, I want to set up a couple of keyboard shortcuts in order to make this process a little smoother. So I'm going to go into Tools, Options, and Visual Studio, Environment, Keyboard, type ReSharper underscore unit test. This is where ReSharper's unit test keyboard shortcuts can be configured. I'm going to set Context Run to Control RT, and Solution Wide Run to Control RA, Control R, Control A. Confirm that. And now I'm going to hit Control R, Control A, to run all of the tests in my solution. Here is ReSharper's test runner session window. You'll notice I have all seven of my tests in here. They're all in the test folder. And it's currently grouped by project and namespaces. This unit test sessions window can be bound to any point of the Visual Studio screen like any modal window that Visual Studio supports. I'm just going to leave it floating for now. I had just run the Run All Test and Solution keyboard shortcut. That was, again, Control R, Control A. If I just wanted to run, say, everything in this file, I would hit the other one, Run Context, which is Control R, Control T. If I do that now, only those tests will run. You'll notice that I have both passing and failing tests here. All the passing tests, of course, are preceded with the green check mark, so this entire test fixture is okay but one of the tests in the end unit fixture is broken. Let's take a look at that one. I can navigate to the test directly simply by double-clicking the test name. So here we are in the test file now, test one. And we can see why it failed. A not implemented exception was thrown within the test method. I can go directly to where that was thrown because the stack trace is provided at the bottom of the screen here inside the unit test session window. And as you can see, it's just throwing a not implemented exception right now. Let's see what this test is trying to assert. This test is asserting that the result returned is 5. So we'll make it fail first. Just make it return 0. And now we'll run this test again. I can run it from either inside the class itself, again using Control R, Control T clicking this green and yellow circle over here and clicking run or directly within the session window by right clicking and selecting run selected tests. I'll do that and now we see that the message here incorrect result returned is printed right here and down here in the bottom window and it tells me what was expected and what was actually retrieved. Now let's make this test pass make it return 5, save, and I'll run the test again. Now the test passes, the bottom window is empty because there's no failure, and now all of our tests pass. Let's say the problem was a little more complicated, however, and we would like to debug into the method that we are trying to test. ReSharper, in addition to letting you run the tests, also provides you with the ability to debug into the test itself place a breakpoint here, go back to my tester, and I have a couple of ways to do this again. From the circle, I can hit a keyboard shortcut I have already set up, Control R, Control D to debug a test, or again, I could run this from the unit test session window, and I'm going to do that this time. The debugger will be loaded directly into the test itself, and now we've hit our breakpoint here and we have all the advantages of the Visual Studio debugging tools at our disposal. Using ReSharper's built-in test runner, you can now remain entirely within Visual Studio when you're trying to run your tests. You no longer have to depend on an external application to do so. In addition, you can also run multiple frameworks within the same test runner session window. You no longer have to run two separate ones to get all your tests running. This also gives you instant feedback as to whether or not your tests failed or passed, 
In addition, you can easily navigate between tests, or in the case of failing tests, you can navigate directly to where your code failed. And that's all I have for you today.